Today in our presentation, uh, you will see the correct extraction of coffee um, and all the implications that go with making a good coffee. We start with a porter filter. Uh, many have come to believe that with the espresso extraction, um, the porter filter must be hot and left in the coffee machine at all times. Um, that has actually proved false with the new method that's come out now called uh, freezer porto. Okay, Fris Porto. Freezer Porto, coming from the Greek word Fris Bot, which means to freeze the porter filter. And so the technique I take on when I um, extract coffee, uh, the espresso, is to place the porter filter in the freezer for, um, you're looking at probably a good five minutes, um, and I know that that can get difficult uh, within a cafe setting. But um, I would recommend have three or four porter filters. So it does. The technique does work in commercial and domestic use. You then would follow that on to the grind, which is one of the most important um, important places for the extraction to start. Um, if if you don't have your grind right, your coffee is going to taste um, quite tragic. Um, and so we start with the grind. Um, many people think you have to have a fine uh, yeah, setting on your, um, your grind, but what you want to more, you're more aiming for a very coarse grind. You're wanting the water to flush through as fast as possible. Um, and so we do this by setting our grind as very coarse. Um, and then as the coffee comes out, you will level it off. And then, then there's a method called Fingalumo. Um, not many people know about it, and the way that someone does it is is for purposeful holes. What that actually does to the coffee, it actually creates oxygen, and so it is allowing the coffee to breathe. Because many people um, grind their coffee and um, level it off and straight into the tamp and unfortunately the coffee has no time to breathe and what you're trying to do is is release that carbon dioxide and in its place actually um, be allowed to breathe and so once you've let that sit for a bit um, bring the tamp in and most people go for a, fr a flat a, um, a flat uh, tamp and they push down really hard um, and this method, method again is, is quite popular um, especially in the um, poor beset um, uh, type of teaching, uh, but the way the technique that we use is called um, the 45 degree tamp, which pretty much explains itself, uh, which moves on to our extraction. And so the water, and what you're trying to do is see the water to come through the coffee as quick as possible. Um, and a lot of people uh, are very uptight about the timing, 25 seconds, 30. Um, I'm more in speed espresso because espresso means quick. Um, and so 25 seconds just doesn't really cut it for me. Coffee is, a, is an interesting um, compound because the way it works is a lot of people think it's around 25-30 seconds for it, to, um, uh, for it to extract, but that's actually incorrect if you actually look at the science behind um, how espresso is extracted. It should take at least 45 seconds um, and that way your coffee will change from a dark, um, disgusting taste to more of a sweet and all the coffee oils are coming out and it should have a um, sort of a clear, you should be able to see through the glass to the other side. Um, that's the type of consistency you're looking for.